Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 21 of my Design Patterns video tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about an extremely simple design pattern, and that is known as the proxy design pattern. So what is the proxy design pattern? Well, the proxy is a class which is going to be used to limit access to another class. And you may do this for security reasons, because an object is intensive to create, or that object is in a remote location that you'd like to have a proxy or a thing that sort of decides what methods are available, what fields are available from that outside object. But in this part of the tutorial, I'm basically going to focus on the security aspect of the proxy design pattern because there's numerous ways to use it, which I'm going to get into at a later date. So here is the basic class diagram for the proxy design pattern. You have from the last part of the tutorial, which was the state design pattern, which is available in the lower left hand corner if you want to completely understand what's going on here. I created a basic interface for an ATM machine. Now this ATM machine, of course, allowed you to access and receive cash. Now, of course, I'm sure you could understand why that could be a security concern. If in an outside program, we wanted to be able to access this ATM machine class object. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw a proxy object in between and only allow the client in this situation that is protected because both the proxy as well as the protected object are going to implement the same interface. What the proxy is going to do is limit access to fields in ATM machine to just getting the ATM's current state and the amount of cash in the machine. We're not going to allow them to set the amount of cash in the machine or take Take money out of the machine and that is going to be this part of the tutorial so let's get into the code okay so here I am in get ATM data and this is going to act as an interface that both the ATM machine as well as our proxy are going to implement so I'm going to define inside of this interface those methods that I want those using this proxy to be able to access in regards to our ATM machine and I'm just going to come in here and define them so I think it's perfectly safe to be able to get the current state of the ATM machine or what the ATM machine is currently doing because no damage can be done in regards to just getting that information and I also think it would be perfectly fine to tell them how much cash is in the machine so we're basically implementing this as if this would be at a bank office in which a manager would want to access and make sure ATM machines are running properly so there we go get ATM data .java is done so the next thing we're going to do is go into the ATM machine .java, which we created in the last part of the tutorial and to use Use this guy we're going to come in here and just type in implements get ATM data now this is going to be able to properly work with our proxy just put our mouse over top of this guy right here ATM machine and add unimplemented methods that are forced because we implemented get ATM data and you can see that both of them popped up down here so down here in get ATM data we're just gonna get rid of this and then down here for return just to keep this very simple I'm going to say ATM state, and that's going to get the gist of how the ATM machine is going to be running. It's going to pass back object information, but either way, that's definitely enough. And then down here in get cash in machine, we're going to return cash in machine, which is up here. So I might as well just copy that. And like I said, this would be set up so that our branch manager, for example, would be able to figure out if a machine ran out of cash. And that's all we need to do. ATM machine is now set up so that we'll be able to get that information. Next thing we need to do is set up ATM proxy.java. Jump in here. In this situation, the proxy is going to both create and destroy ATM machine objects and provide access only to those methods that we would consider to be safe. So get ATM data, going to implement the same interface, very simple. And then what's it going to do? It's going to say, hey, you need to implement some methods here. And there it goes, add unimplemented methods, and there they are. Now, this is going to act as a go-between between our regular ATM machines. So what we're going to want to do here is actually create ATM machines inside of this proxy. So very, very simple. If they would call get ATM state, we're going to say ATM 
ATM machine, and then I can call it real ATM machine is equal to new ATM machine and create an ATM machine object. And then in the return area, I'm gonna go real ATM machine, paste that inside of there, put a dot, and one of these methods is going to be get ATM data, which we can see right here. Just click on that and then throw a semicolon in there. So that's going to create a new machine. However, just allow access to this very specific method, which is also the same exact name as what we have right there. And then down here, we're going to do pretty much exactly the same thing with get cash in machine. So create a new object. And then down here in the return statement, I'm going to go return. And then we're going to say click. And one of these is going to be get cash in machine. Boom, there that goes. And there that goes. And this is done. Now you have your proxy finished. Now it's time to go into test ATM machine and see if everything worked. So we're just going to come in here, the bottom of what we created in the last part of the tutorial, and start working with this guy. So I'm going to go ATM, get ATM data, which is the interface, see, get ATM data. And we're going to call this real ATM machine is equal to new ATM machine. And this is also going to lock it out from only being able to access those methods that are defined inside of it. And then we're also going to create the proxy, which is going to stand in between it. And I'm going to call this ATM proxy is equal to new ATM proxy. I'll save. And then I'm going to print out some information from there. Print line and throw a new line in there just for the heck of it and go current ATM state. And then if I want to access it, I can go ATM proxy. Boom. And then you're going to see here what pops up. None of the secret information that we wouldn't want to show up. However, it will pop up. Get ATM data. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm also going to come in and do something very similar here. I'm going to print out the amount of cash in the machine. So cash in ATM machine. And all this code is available in a link underneath the video. And then once again, if we go into the proxy that we just created, created here. We're going to see get cash and machine is one of the things available. However, set cash and machine and all the potentially dangerous methods are not. Close that off. And you will not be able to do things like Let's say ATM proxy set cash in machine because that is not defined in the interface. And just in case you were wondering, I think you can see the red mark underneath there. See, it doesn't work. And even though I did create real ATM, I'm also not going to be able to use that to access that method. You may ask yourself, well, why not? The same reason we have over here. It is part of the interface get ATM data. So, and get ATM data is the version that I am using right here. So that blocks out potentially harmful methods. However, if we save this and execute it, you're going to see that it's going to give me the information that I do need, which is the current state, which means there's no card currently in the ATM machine, and the total amount of cash in the ATM machine, which is $2,000. So there's a basic overview of the proxy design pattern. Like I said before, it could be used in numerous different ways, and we'll get into that in later parts of the tutorial. If you have any questions, of course, take a look at the code underneath the video. And if you don't see your questions answered there, leave a, any questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.